Do you want to be secure or do you want to be happy? Libby and Jim Mianovich, one a computer scientist and the other a pathologist, gave up their successful careers in 1999 to focus on a new passion and turn it into a family business. Mija turns recycled fabric into fiber art. We needed a change. We really did. And we'd known that for a while. Yeah. And it just kind of got to a, it happened. A, a breaking point. <laughs> Libby and Jim had no formal art training, but there were people out there willing to help them. We have a very good friend who's a woodworker and uh, was living in our community. And we went to him and said, how do you do this? How do you make a living? And he was the one that really essentially uh, introduced us to this whole world of shows and craft and all that. They realized that creating art from vintage clothing is what they wanted to do. They quit their jobs and spent the next 18 months fine-tuning the style of their work full-time. We start out by choosing the fabrics that are going to go together. And, and we have no idea, we don't necessarily, we don't know what the design is going to be, but we choose fabrics, 18 fabrics, that go well together from very light to very dark. Once we commit to that, we are committed to those fabrics being in that particular color scheme. And then at home we have this big wall that's covered with flannel that these little squares of fabric stick on. And then we start putting pieces up on the wall. And then we tear it down, that's not working. And then we put pieces up on the wall again. Eventually, it grows in, and it kind of designs itself and makes sense. After a year and a half of R&D, they had their first show. Our first show was two weeks after 9-11. We didn't do any business at all. And it took, a, it took a while. It was a year before it started. And then it was in that, in that second year that we began to, began to see some... Uh, see some shift. This is a family business. As a result, they involved their two young sons. They actually have, uh, through the years, worked in the studio, been paid um, to do jobs, um, and you know they've been, they've, been, they've been part of the process. Today, 10 years after they started their business, Mija does well, and the Mianovich's art is in demand at high-end craft fairs, like here at the Washington, D.C. Craft Show, one of the top fairs in the country. Their advice for those who are considering art as a second act? This is the hardest job I've ever, you know, one of the hardest jobs I've ever had. And it's one that I have a lot of passion around. I think there's a balance between, um, you know, listening to your heart is really important and be practical. 